Hey guys, my name's Wood Hawker and I am here to fill you in with what's been happening lately in the world of LaunchBox. Recently I started a new series on this channel called Top 5 Video Games to Emulate where I look through certain systems and I find games that would be best suited to emulation using services like maybe Launchbox. So, so far I've done Genesis and NES and I'd really appreciate it if you went and checked them out. The links are in the description below. Let me know what you think and suggest other systems for me to cover. I'd like to tackle some of the ones that are a little bit more obscure like Virtual Boy. Moving on to some news, we've added some features into the new beta update. Did you say beta or beta? Which way is it in America? I know I say Sega instead of Sega, which annoys enough people. And I'm trying to annoy as little amount of people as possible. So if you guys would prefer me to say beta or beta, let me know in the comment section below. It would really help us out. But I'm still probably gonna say Sega, I can't help that. A new Consolidate ROMs feature is available under the tools menu in LaunchBox, where you can combine ROMs for existing collections, just like the imports from last week. A new Combine Games and Expand Games feature has been added so you can manually group and ungroup your games. You know, I'm getting really good at this whole launch box thing. I'm really new to the team, but I'm learning the ins and outs, how everything works. When I stand here and say things to you guys, I actually go ahead and research and figure out what these things mean and ask Jason, hey, what is this I'm actually saying? And it's teaching me a lot about using the software, but automatically version filled population on imports Hey, I'm just a gamer, guys. That one's going a little bit over my head. I think essentially it means show all game versions under view, show versions in LaunchBox. I mean, I could sit here and rehearse that line, but I think it would still sound a bit robotic. So if you understand what that means, the beta has that now. So right now, I like right now as we speak, actually, Jason is hard at work wrapping up update 7.7 .7 and making sure it's as stable and as best as it can be before launch. So any help right now testing out the new beta and giving feedback to Jason and the LaunchBox team is greatly appreciated. 7.7 .7 will be launching early next week. A reoccurring theme in all these updates I've done is talking about a user by the name of Gorilla who is doing some incredible work for LaunchBox between themes and startup videos. This guy is seriously hard at work making content for LaunchBox and I, I personally can't say thank you enough for some of the cool startup videos he's given me. But on behalf of the team, I wanted to thank him for all this hard work along with everyone else who is putting a lot of work in the LaunchBox right now. Thank you, we appreciate it. Gorilla has a new theme this week and honestly it's really innovative, it's really new and it's got a lot of fresh cool ideas and concepts. I like this one a lot. Again, just like last week, anything new, all the themes, all the startup videos you can go and find on our forums pages and download them from there and try them out for yourselves. But this one is honestly one of the best ones I've seen so far. And that's it for me this week already, short and sweet. I even busted out the N64 shirt for this one. I generally don't wear it anymore because I, I don't know, I feel, I feel like it makes me look a little chunky. The last thing I will say before I head out is later this month I'm going to Texas. Now the reason I headed to Texas was because about a year ago I went to Retro Palooza where I met Jason for the first time and he had this awesome arcade cabinet, this awesome cabinet that was fitted with LaunchBox. And this was the first time I'd ever even heard of LaunchBox before. And I walked, I saw this awesome thing. He told me he was a fan of the show. He told me that he was giving this LaunchBox away to a YouTuber and I was so excited and then he gave it to Billy. I guess it makes sense because Billy lives like down the road. So it was easier to give it to Billy than to give it to someone who was going back to Canada. But um, way to get my hopes up, Jason. But Jason and I had an idea and that was, hey, I like Billy, I like visiting Billy. What if I went and visited Billy and spent some time with the arcade cabinet and made some cool content for this channel with myself and Billy and the a cabinet and maybe anything else that we can think of. We wanted to pass this on to you guys. What kind of videos would you like to see on this channel with me in Texas with Billy and an arcade cabinet. It doesn't even have to be with Billy or with the arcade cabinet or even with me, but I'm gonna be in Texas with the camera. So what do you guys wanna see on this channel later on this month while I'm over in Texas? Let me know 
and I'll do my best to make as many videos as I can. I don't have to work for a couple weeks. That's gonna be the best thing about this trip. I get to work exclusively on my videos for my channel and on LaunchBox, so I'm excited. Let me know down below and I'll see you guys mid next week and then later on in the week with the next update. Remember to hit that like button and be subscribed. On behalf of LaunchBox, thank you. Thank you for watching these videos and being a part of our community and I will see you next time.